Hi, Michael King here with Teams.Coach, and I don't get a chance very often to talk directly to my church leader friends, so I wanted to give a perspective on leadership that maybe you haven't considered before, and so I'd like to read this to you here. In Matthew chapter 11, Jesus is actually addressing those that would be drawn to him. So this is what he says. He says, come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. Now, I just wanna leave it there for you for a moment because Jesus specifically talks about a couple things. He talks about yoke and then he talks about identity. The first thing is yoke is this yoke really comes down to one simple word, understanding. He's identifying that his way and his thinking and the lens at which he views religion through, it's way more simple than the old ways. This yoke is easy. But then he does something that is spectacular, and it's one of the only times in scripture that he actually identifies a personality trait about himself. He says, because I'm gentle and I'm kind. You know, there's something about this in this culture, in the context of everything that's happening in this scripture, that makes it significantly important that Jesus is actually talking about his personality being gentle and kind. They're living in a world that's full of chaos and disruption and tension, anxiety and stress and division. So Jesus says as a leader that he's gentle and he's kind. Are you gentle? Are you kind? We live in a world today specifically with church leaders in which there's a lot of things that we're for and there's a lot of things that we're against, but are we actually being identified with the things that we're for and are we leading our teams and our church with a spirit of gentleness and a spirit of kindness? These are the things that Jesus says he's about.